News on a potential match for John Cena and Goldberg this year at WrestleMania. Yes, John Cena versus Goldberg at WrestleMania 36 in Tampa, Florida in April. Now, let's give a bit of backstory to this because I can already feel you rolling your eyes at this one. Don't worry, I am with you on this. Now, Goldberg, the WWE Hall of Famer, former WCW champion, former WWE World Heavyweight champion, former Universal champion as well, returned to WWE last week on SmackDown. He had a segment with Bray Wyatt. Uh, post before, before the segment, they were uh, teasing who would Goldberg be facing or who would be next more specifically uh, we all assumed that Goldberg would be competing at Super Showdown and we went on to find out that he'll be facing the Fiend for the WWE Universal Championship at Super Showdown he had a little interaction with the Fiend Goldberg did last week via satellite if I was the crowd that bought a ticket to see Bill Goldberg last week, I would not be happy whatsoever. I'd be absolutely fuming. But either way, they had a bit of an interaction on screen. Goldberg said that Bray Wyatt is next or The Fiend is next. Of course, The Fiend or Bray Wyatt happily accepted Goldberg's challenge. So in Jeddah, Saudi Arabia... At the Super Showdown event, we will have Goldberg versus The Fiend for the WWE Universal Championship. However, it's being reported by WrestleVotes on Twitter. I would definitely, definitely recommend giving them a follow. Um, a lot of the time with these uh, social media accounts that give uh, sources inside WWE or spoilers or insider info, a lot of it's just hogwash, a lot of it's smoke and mirrors, but WrestleVotes... 90% of the time I would say are incredibly credible when it comes to the news that they report and they don't report loads of it what they do report is tends to be incredibly accurate or very close to the actual thing so they've reported that the names sort of surrounded in smoke regarding their Wrestlemania status are Roman Reigns, John Cena, Goldberg and the Universal Champion himself, a fiend Bray Wyatt so that could suggest that these four names are all quite interchangeable at the moment um, in terms of who they could be facing at WrestleMania. You could have uh, Roman Reigns versus The Fiend, of course, which has been the highly speculated and highly reported on match that we're going to be seeing at WrestleMania for the Universal Championship. But now that Goldberg's facing The Fiend at Super Showdown, people are starting to say, well, wait a minute, Goldberg wouldn't come back just to lose. Right, I mean, he's Bill Goldberg. You put The Undertaker over last year at Super Showdown, but he still doesn't like to lose. This is Goldberg, after all. So could you have Goldberg versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania for the Universal Championship? I mean, it's a marquee match. You know how WWE loves their mainstream marquee matches, which could then lead John Cena to face The Fiend in a WrestleMania 30 rematch, and Bray Wyatt finally gets his victory that he should have got at WrestleMania 30 over John Cena himself. Now, for me, I think it's likely that John Cena faces Goldberg at WrestleMania. And let's be honest. I mean, I, I can hear you saying why. Why is that the case? And I'll tell you why. Let's be honest. It would be, quite frankly, awful if Goldberg beats The Fiend at Super Showdown. Let's put this into context. Ever since uh, Bray Wyatt re-debuted just after WrestleMania last year... We have seen a build-up behind this guy for, what, like 12 months, 9 months? Imagine if you built this character up. He's beaten everyone. He's beaten everyone in seconds. He's destroyed everyone. The people that he's put down. You know, he's destroyed Daniel Bryan. Um, he's destroyed the likes of The Miz. The Hall of Famers he's put down, like Mick Foley. The great debut he had, in-ring debut at SummerSlam, The Fiend had against Finn Balor. You know, that feud whatever that was with Seth Rollins last year they ultimately decided to go with the fiend then because the fiend was the most over character in WWE and at this point regardless of how he's uh, the tweaks to his character recently he still is the most over attraction in WWE in my opinion just look at the merchandise numbers so you would continue to build up this new different edgy character for close to a year only to lose to Bill Goldberg up 50 plus years old in what will be a 10 second match let's be honest it's a bill goldberg match if goldberg did beat the fiend it would be you know 10 seconds a minute you know it's not exactly going to be a 30 minute flair steamboat classic is it so to do that would just be god awful and it would just 
I mean, I criticise WWE like we all do. Everyone criticises what they don't like. Uh, but I'd like to give WWE some form of credit that surely, surely they would realise that Goldberg beating The Fiend in convincing fashion just isn't the way to go. Not only for selling tickets going forward, but the character of The Fiend and Bray Wyatt going forward. For me, if Goldberg beats The Fiend in like a minute at Super Showdown, that's his character. Done. Dead. I mean, let's. I mean, let's be honest. How can you come back from that? It's. I know suspension of disbelief in professional wrestling, but um, what? Uh, this monster just gets destroyed in a couple of seconds by a over fifty year old man. It's just not. Just that's just not. I can't buy that. So I see. I see Bray Wyatt or the Fiend winning this one at Super Showdown. He has to win this one, which would then in turn lend him to go up against Roman Reigns at WrestleMania, which just seems like the logical next step. WWE of, of all the matches that seemingly have been up in the air for so long with WrestleMania, Bray Wyatt versus Roman Reigns seems to be the one they've been fixed on for the longest time. So I don't think that changes. But what next for Goldberg? Of course, you know, perhaps um, a match against John Cena. Now, there's been a lot of speculation as to if Cena would compete this year at WrestleMania. Of course, he didn't last year and they have to always wait for a break in Cena's uh, filming schedule if he can actually compete at WrestleMania because I mentioned this uh, in the video earlier this week uh, with regarding a potential match between him and Roman Reigns at next year's WrestleMania that just movie studios aren't going to ensure... Uh, people that are throwing themselves at the ground in a wrestling ring they just they just don't do it so for John Cena to have a match at Wrestlemania he has to have a break in filming which I believe he does around this year at Wrestlemania he's currently filming the Suicide Squad reboot but I believe that'll be done around Wrestlemania time and John Cena at this point is uh, at the status uh, in WWE that he when he comes back he's going to pick who he works with when it comes to WrestleMania now I'm slightly surprised if he did pick Goldberg I would have thought Cena would want to be putting over younger talent but hey that, that's maybe it's a bit of a uh, pitch by WWE and pitch by Goldberg there but we know that John Cena is returning to the WWE it was announced last night or on WWE backstage whenever that John Cena will be returning to SmackDown on February 28th, which is just so happens to be the post-Super Showdown SmackDown event. So potentially there could be a situation where Goldberg and John Cena are in the same place at the same time. Now, John Cena was last seen at the Raw Reunion event uh, last summertime, I believe. Um, but he hasn't wrestled a match for WWE in well over a year. It's, he didn't compete in inside a WWE ring in 2019, the first time since he debuted uh, on the WWE main roster in 2002 that he hasn't competed uh, in a calendar year for WWE. And many are speculating that John Cena will be there on February 28th edition of SmackDown to shoot the angle for his WrestleMania match. Like I mentioned earlier, his schedule is very, very, very busy and very tight. We're looking at a scenario where he might only be available for two or three TVs to promote the match. So maybe the logic there would be then that who else is only going to be available for two or three TVs to promote the match? That might also be Goldberg. Now, I also mentioned previously that Goldberg, of course, is not only going to be competing at Super Showdown. That would mean that on the post Smackdown, uh, post Super Showdown edition of Smackdown, if they actually manage to make it back in time uh, this time, Goldberg will be there with the WWE crew post Super Showdown. So they could definitely shoot the angle on that edition of SmackDown. Now, that sort of complicated logistics side of things aside, you have to question why. that That's my big takeaway when I heard the news that Goldberg could be facing John Cena at WrestleMania. Why? And I can't really answer that question, to be honest, because... I don't understand why that this isn't a match that anyone's been clamoring for. I don't think it's we have a series on our social media called Dream Match. And I don't even think it's a dream match that really registered into my head because it's just something that I don't I don't really want to see or I've never really cared to see. I've never thought, oh, wouldn't it be great if John Cena went against Goldberg? Well, I don't. It's just it's never really interested me. And when I heard the news... It was similar to the way when I heard the news that The Undertaker would be facing Goldberg last year that I went, oh, they're going, oh, it's a dream match. And maybe, but you just go, but yeah, but it gets to a point where maybe it should stay in your head. 
and you shouldn't actually see it in reality. Now, John Cena can still still go, no doubt. Um, Goldberg, he has to have a Goldberg match, doesn't he, for him to for him to work. If he tries to go longer than that, look what happened with the Undertaker match. Now, I know WWE will consider this a marquee match, and to casual fans, this will be a marquee match. This will be, you know, Bill Goldberg versus John Cena. Can you imagine the headlines? The two big stars that Bill Goldberg was in the 90s and John Cena is today. It's marquee, but I just come back to it. Is that a match we really want to see? And not even out of a curiosity point of view from me, Because sometimes you go, I don't really want to see it, but I'm curious to see what they actually do. I don't even think I'd be curious to see what they do on this one. It just it just doesn't interest me. Now, that's just me. Um, I know some people might be really interested to see what happens in a Goldberg John Cena match. I understand it's a marquee name. I understand it will get people talking, but it's WrestleMania that gets people talking enough. Um, It's not as if they're not going to sell out the stadium. Of course, they're going to sell out the stadium. It's WrestleMania. Um, I just, I just think possibly there could be a better use of John Cena at this event. Now, Goldberg going up against another legend is probably the right thing to do because you think about if Goldberg's going to go up against anyone else, he's going to beat them in ten seconds, and that doesn't do good for anyone. So Goldberg going up against another part timer or WWE legend makes sense, but not John Cena. John Cena's got more left in him, and John Cena can do a lot more to put over a younger talent at WrestleMania. Um. Yeah, for me, it just it just it just doesn't do it. And when you're looking at match quality here, you know, a, a Goldberg match in 2020, the match quality isn't going to be there. And I even think he would admit that himself. The John Cena match quality in 2020 is definitely there's definite potential. There's no one more po- polarizing than John Cena. I think, to be honest, in a Bill Goldberg versus John Cena match, the crowd would probably most likely be on John Cena's side. Uh, John Cena's popularity, even with the smart fans, has skyrocketed almost since he's left. You know, you never really know what you've got till it's gone sort of scenario there. Um, But the match quality itself, it it wouldn't be a good match. It won't, you know. It might be a bit of a spectacle. Does that make it a good match? Probably not, you know. And how long does the match even go for? John Cena's last WrestleMania match was against The Undertaker at WrestleMania uh, 34, excuse me, and that went, what, all of 90 seconds, a minute? I can't see a John Cena versus Bill Goldberg match going much longer either, to be honest. And realistically, who wins? Um, In this case, you would have to think John Cena wins. John Cena wins. John Cena can't be losing to Bill Goldberg at WrestleMania. The only reason that I could consider them doing this is if... Uh, the Fiend beats Goldberg at Super Showdown and Bill Goldberg comes out on the SmackDown after Super Showdown and says, look, you know what? Uh, I lost to The Undertaker last year. I lost to The Fiend this year. I'm a guy that doesn't lose, okay? I built my career on being the guy that hardly ever lost and now I've lost twice in a year. I'm, I'm over 50 now. I'm a WWE Hall of Famer. I did this to show my family what I was, but let's be honest, I'm not what I was anymore. And maybe this whole comeback thing was great, but maybe it's time that that match in Saudi Arabia was my last match, and maybe it's time I hang it up. Then you get uh, John Cena come out, and he says, look, I've always wanted to face you. Uh, does the crowd want to see it? Of course, the crowd will cheer. John Cena and Goldberg are in a ring on WWE television. The crowd will be like, I can't believe I'm getting my money's worth here. Uh, and then he says, look, if you want to have one more match, have it against me at WrestleMania. And then Goldberg has his retirement match at WrestleMania. John Cena beats him. Goldberg doing the honours on his way out. And then finally, you know, Goldberg is then done. He's not in a ring anymore. Um, Goldberg likes to talk about being a superhero to the kids. There is no bigger superhero when it comes to kids than John Cena. Um, so you could play into that, I suppose. And I'm sure Goldberg's son is a big fan of John Cena. So he would pop massively for that which of course Goldberg cares about he does all of this really for his family um so that that is the only story that I could see them doing and I'm not even sure if that really interests me that much it just you know you you can tell if how you feel about a match if just when someone throws it out there and just goes look bang um again like Drew McIntyre Brock Lesnar you go man I like the sound of that straight away it's just that feeling that instant feeling and I just don't get that with this potential Goldberg John Cena match. But it's not, of course, all about me. What do you think? Do you 
think that Goldberg versus John Cena is a match worth seeing at WrestleMania? Is it a marquee match? What's the match quality going to look like? Is it a match that you yourself are interested in? Make sure to let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like and click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos from Wrestling News 365. Be sure to follow us on all of our social media platforms as well in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching, listening, streaming or however you've come across this video today on this Valentine's Day. I hope you're all having a great Valentine's Day and I'll speak with you again very, very, very soon.